Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this pick a card, we're going to be doing um, what positive messages are here for you. So we have groups one through four, one, two, three, four. And um, I am doing $10 readings now. So all that info, if you're interested, will be down below. But let's get started with group one. Okay, hello group one. So we have death, the high priestess, chop wood and first chakra archangel michael so what i'm getting here is that there's gonna be um newness coming in for you guys there's more of an internal change that i'm feeling here and i'm seeing that what's gonna solidify for you is your sense of self your personal power is what's coming through here um there's gonna be changes in regards to your stability how you think about your stability, um, what keeps you grounded. And with chop wood here, I'm just getting anything that's not serving you anymore is being swept away. You're making room for new things here is what I'm getting with chop wood. Um, with the high priestess and death, this is very watery. So you guys are also going to be developing um, your powers and you guys are going to be developing more of like yeah, your psychic awareness is what I'm getting here, okay? But overall, just more internal change. Um, you guys are making room for this, and I feel like you guys are inviting it to, which is great. I feel like you guys just want to bring in the newness. I feel like you guys want to have a sense of renewal here. And something about your stability, whether that be materialistically and um, internally is what I'm getting here. You're going to be having a lot of strength and it's going to bring more balance into your life. It's going to be bring more balance into um, your sense of self, like I keep on saying here. You could have Aries, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart. But overall, new ways of thinking, new thoughts. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of analyzing, a lot of seeing and figuring out what needs to change and how to go about things okay which is great you're doing like an internal declutter is what i'm getting here and you're gonna feel so fresh and much happier is what i'm getting here too so pile one that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye okay hello group two so we have the Hierophant, the Page of Swords, Yin, and Anxiety. So right off the bat, positive messages for you is that some of you guys may get a message or a call back from a job or a school or a Taurus here. Um, I'm also seeing anything that you guys were worried about, whether this be something in the future, something from the past or present that's gonna start coming down now maybe specifically a message or there's gonna be some kind of breakthrough or new way of thinking or looking at a situation to where you are um gonna release all this tension this anxiety i'm also seeing that you guys are going to be learning a lot um there is help available to you is what i'm seeing but the time is time is now to take action on things we had yin and anxiety come out reversed. So anything that you guys were wanting to accomplish or do, go ahead. Um, but I'm also seeing much calming, relaxing times coming through with yin. I'm also seeing um, a relationship here. I'm seeing rela um, relationships, um, people. If you had any troubles with people or with family, I'm seeing that going away. I'm seeing communication coming through and just really making things clear. Coming to a clean slate here, which is great. Positive changes. Some of you guys may actually get the opportunity to um, speak in regards to whatever your profession is or whatever you're doing. You guys are going to be held in a high regard and there's going to be some type of speech here, some type of opportunity coming by. 
Maybe this is something that you guys have been wanting. And I'm seeing something come through here, okay? So, pile two, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching, and let's move on to group three. Okay, hello group three. So, we have the Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, To the Sea, Thinking Woman, and Community. So, we kind of go through a change here. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, then we have the Boat, um, Community. So, positive messages for you. I'm seeing any troubles, any periods of um, depression, regret, sadness, overworking, overstress what have you i'm seeing you move on to better times i'm seeing you finally cutting and let go of anything that is not healthy for you that's not good for you i'm seeing you guys make better choices i'm seeing you guys um get into new friend groups or reconnecting with friends again getting into new jobs new projects new um communities what have you um I'm seeing you guys move into a much more healthier spot where you guys are able to connect with other people and some of you guys may be meeting um, your soul tribe, some people that are your people. With Thinking Woman to Community, some of you guys may be a leader in your friend group or in some type of teaching position. I'm getting actual teachers here. Or in your job, I'm seeing there may be some type of promotion that's happening here and you're going to get chosen is what I'm seeing. But we go through such a shift here, so I'm getting just more balanced, more firm in who you are with the thinking woman, more solid in who you are. Some of you guys may actually be moving or someone is coming to see you as well. But I'm getting schools, I'm getting jobs, I'm getting uh, what have you here. Yeah, some of you guys um, are going to be seeing your opportunities around you now after a period of being stuck and focused onto what you have lost. I see you guys taking up new things or making yourself find opportunities in life and people are going to look up to you. People are going to see what you're doing to get yourself out of this and um, that's why people are going to be looking up to you. So group three, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much and let's move on to group four. Okay, hello group four. So we have the Ace of Cups, Justice, the Fates, and Door to Romance. So positive messages coming for you guys, I'm seeing self-love, okay? Some of you guys may have Libra or Scorpio in your chart, is what I'm getting here, or Aquarius. But I'm seeing love offers coming through, and if you guys don't have any love offers, then like I said, this is just self-love. I feel like you guys are going to start getting into self-care routines, um, learning about what self-care is, um, just doing things like that, okay? So very Libra, Taurus energy um i'm also seeing that you guys may be settling divorces some of you guys may be getting into relationships here but also if anybody has done you any type of wrong if anybody has done you dirty done you wrong i'm seeing things being settled i'm seeing any type of legal situations here being settled in your favor as well um, the stars are aligning for you. I feel like the events that you have been through, Group 4, has um, really put you back to yourself. And I feel like you're going to start making the right decisions with justice in regards to taking care of yourself. In regards to um, doing things right in your life. You guys are being granted wisdom with the owl here. You guys are being granted truth. And you guys are just going to move into a much more balanced spot in your life, okay? Just wanting to do things right. Um, some of you guys could just be wanting to be alone. <laughs> is really what I'm getting here as well. This is great. 
So yeah, I'm seeing love opportunities here. I'm not sure if you guys will um, take them, but I'm just also getting a very focused, um, centered energy here. We have six and six, it's all about balance. There's some type of renewal here as well with the Ace of Cups. In regards to relationships, some of you guys may get a love offer from a Libra. I don't know if I said that already, my bad. But, um, group four, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.